Hey you guys, it's Ani. Happy, happy Friday. I just got out of the shower. That's my that's why my hair is wet. And I was like, I'm gonna get all dolled up, I'm gonna blow dry, I'm gonna get ready for this video. But then the whole time in the shower, I was like, no, like I need to get this message out like ASAP. You know, when you get that feeling like that urge, like no, say it now, make it now. That's what I've been feeling. So whoever's resonating with this video, this is for you, you guys. I'm gonna talk about two clients in this um, video, but not just that. I'm gonna be telling you what to do along your journey to get best results, fastest results, um, at your most highest level of peace. Um, also, it's May, my birthday month. You guys, I love my birthday month. There's, I know there's people that are like, oh, it's my birthday, I don't wanna celebrate my birthday, blah, blah, blah. I wanna celebrate the whole month. I wanna give, give, give. So um, as I do by tradition, every year on my birthday month, all my courses are gonna be on sale. So look out for the code, you guys. You can always email us and ask us and um, I will be posting the discount code soon, so look out for that. Um, but I just feel so good in my birthday month, and I always want to give, 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 be generous, and I just feel so much love, and you guys, I really feel like you, those of you watching, I don't know if you're manifesting this for me to say this, but I really feel like you're leveling up. Like every week, step by step, slowly but surely, you're getting it. So if that resonates with you, comment down below, even through the hard times. Like, don't be afraid of the hard times. Don't be afraid of those waves of emotions. Even in those waves of emotions, you're getting movement. I promise you, the day when it comes, you'll see what I mean. But let's talk about this. I want to talk to you about trusting your desire, trusting what you got to do, trusting on this journey, even in the hard times. And I'll tell you why. Two clients this last week alone. Last time we met, they were in tears. They were frustrated. One of the SPs was not like conforming at all for months and months and months. He was very stubborn personality because she created him that way. And I know all about stubborn SPs. So trust me on that. But she wanted this person to, her person to delete all the dating apps and everything and like finally show up committed. And we've been working together since like day one when he didn't want to have anything to do with her. She was mad at him. Everything was at zero, right? Now they're exclusive. And recently there was this thing for the last few months where she was like, he's being so stubborn on this one thing that I really want to manifest and change. And he just won't budge. And it's, he just do doesn't want to do it because I'm saying it. Uh, there's still insecurities there. There's still that stubbornness. And you guys, last month this time, she was literally crying that it's never going to happen and I need to leave this person because they're not going to give me what I want. And I said, listen, you always have the option to remove yourself from the situation. No one's forcing, right? But let's try it my way, right? Let's try with the trust, with the application of the work I want you to do. And everyone has custom situations. So it's not all size, you know, one size fits all. But she started really trusting when she had no other option. Even when she felt like she can't trust, she has to manipulate and control, she saw that that manipulation and control was not working. So if you are recreating someone, you guys, I want you to know something. The moment you are in manipulation and control and you want to nitpick every single situation, every word, every call, and you want to, it's like you don't have peace. When you're there, it's not going to come fast enough. And I want you to write this down. Pushing control, pushing manipulation, pushing resistance is not going to bring your manifestation in faster. So remember that. When you catch yourself, and this is very important for you to catch yourself, 
when you're on top of your game and you're catching the patterns, you're catching your reactions, you're catching how you're approaching the situation, you're catching your beliefs and thought processes and you're like, whoa, I just was in that manipulation moment again, right? Break the thought pattern, step back, observe what you're doing, approach it differently going forward. In that moment, if you continue to react the same old way you have been all this time, guess what your evidence is going to be? Same old evidence. You're always going to feel like that person's stubborn. They're never going to change. They're never going to notice you. They're never going to want you the way you want them um, until you change the perspective and you break the thought patterns as you catch them. Cheers to that. I forgot to say get your drinks, get your snacks, but do you understand what I'm what I mean by this? Catching your reactions and patterns and actually moving differently towards them instead of the same old way. You're no longer being convinced by that Karen in your head that that's the right way to go about it. So you're approaching it differently now. If you get what I mean, comment down below. Speaking of courses being on sale, self-concept, master your mind, manifest your SP, all these courses, money and abundance, EFT, they've been helping my client, clients like crazy. And we always post their emails, the successes. Um, and I always share them with you. Another client, you guys, she wrote in an email, but it was very short. So I'll just share it. This last week, another client we, when we were on session, she was like, I just want to give up. I'm depressed. I'm done. Nothing's working my way. And again, I told her, babe, I'm going to give you homework. I want you to do this homework and I want you to follow it consistently. But I also, the pattern here is trusting, trusting why you have the desire, trusting why you're, e why you're even being pushed to trust rather than try so hard, right? When you're cornered, you guys, in your manifestation journey, when you feel cornered and you feel like you've exhausted every option you can and you've tried everything and nothing's working, right? You're not seeing the evidence you want to see. That is the universe's and God's way of cornering you in to understand that you don't have to try this hard. When are you going to start trusting me? your business partner. When are you going to start trusting me? I'm purposely cornering you in so you feel like you've exhausted all your options so you can finally surrender and trust me. Because there is no point of manifesting when the whole man, there's no power in trying all the time and exhausting every option. That's not your magic. That's not your power. That's not your birthright. Anyone can do that. Someone that doesn't even know manifesting can go and try their hardest and push and push and push and push. But the magic is in the trust and the surrender part too. There's an equal balance, right? There's you putting your desire in and getting clear on what you want and getting clear on how the hell you want to show up for yourself in your life going forward, how you want the versions of other people to reflect back onto you, right? But then there's a there's also this fine line of, well, I got to trust too because it's not just me pushing the whole time. Where's the magic and miracles in me pushing everything? That's literally like, there's no point in me learning about manifestation anymore because I'll just go and do whatever I've been doing all this time and put in effort, 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 effort and not really work on my beliefs and assumptions to change any, any of the reflection. Remember, you guys, energy, embodiment, everyone in your reality feels you, strangers, people that know you, people that haven't talked to in years and months. SPs, everyone, they all feel you. They're all your characters in your movie. Okay, they, these people are all characters in your movie. I'm also a character in your movie that's waking you the F up to remember who the hell you are. We are all here to help you and wake you up and make the, the desires that you have in your mind not just desires for you to understand you have the desire for a reason that reality is calling you in do you keep reacting the same way do you keep not trusting why you have a desire do you keep fighting battling in your mind in the same old way with the same old person the same old version of them 
or you're changing it slowly but surely, step by step. The change gets into the subconscious mind. After it gets into the subconscious mind, while you make the small changes, don't think you have to make big changes. You don't have to do this overnight whole thing of a revelation. It comes slowly. It comes every time it comes up, every time it triggers you and you make the change. That's the big change. It seems small, 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 but it's filling up the whole entirety of you, your soul is changing. The subconscious scenes are changing. The beliefs are changing. And then it's going to reflect out because everything's reflected out from the subconscious onto the other person. Other person feels like they got to show up for you differently. And then they do, but they don't do it when you're waiting and manipulating and controlling. They do it when you actually take a deep breath, calm down, start trusting a little bit. Look back on all of your manifestations. When did they come in? When you were choking them to de death or when you actually took a breather and went to watch your favorite show or you cooked you your favorite meal. They came in the time of detachment. I have become a pro at detachment. Nowadays, the moment I feel droplets of me trying to manipulate a situation, I'm like, Ani, hell no, you need to stop that because you know that push creates resistance and it gets you back to that old mind state of yours where you had to try a thousand times harder and put in a thousand times more effort to get what you want when you can just now release the resistance work on trusting, work on understanding that there's parallel realities too. Watch my last Friday's video, you guys. I actually talk about the parallel realities, I think, in there and how you shift slowly. If you have a desire, that reality is waiting for you. That reality will not reveal itself to you if you react the same old way like you have been and not getting the results you want. You cannot push the same way and get different results. It does not work that way. You're just staying active. It's kind of like stagnant, not active. It's kind of like saying, I want this to taste different than water, right? But you know you're just drinking water, right? Right next to it, there could be like a strawberry flavored soda and you want, let's say you want the strawberry flavored soda, you don't want the water anymore. Strawberry flavored soda staring at you. It's saying react differently. Choose me instead of choosing this. And you will taste the strawberry flavor in your mouth. But what do you do? Because you're human and you have an ego, you're saying no. I will choose the water and I'm going to make it taste like strawberry. Even though the option, the other option of reacting differently and picking something else is in front of you. You're pushing your principle and you're pushing your ego. and you're making it harder for yourself. Stop pushing the same reaction, expecting a different result. The other options are all in front of you. How to react differently, how to approach the perspective differently. All of those perspectives exist now. When do you choose the different perspective and the trust? That's when you will get your results. I cannot stress this enough. That other client of mine, when we met and she was crying and she was like, Ani, I want to give up. Um, I haven't heard from him in a few days. I'm not getting responses. I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. I'm fed up. And I was like, girl, I got her back into the trusting reality. We did EFT tapping in our session. EFT tapping helps so many people and you shift really quick into the parallel reality you want. If you're interested, you guys, links in for my EFT courses are down below. Give it a try if you like. Um, you don't have to try mine. There's a lot of information out there online. But we did EFT tapping in our one-on-one -on -one session. She literally emailed me a few minutes later and she says, Ani, every time I do EFT tapping with you, every time I meet with you, I get movement with my person right after. She's like, it's like magic. It's like miracle. I don't know what it is. She's like, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally helping you release what you need to release out of the subconscious and reinforce the beliefs you want. And once you get there through that little EFT tapping session and shift, you calm down and then boom, the evidence comes in because you calm down. You're no longer pushing resistance on that thing. Okay. 
you guys i hope this video makes sense if it did if it helped you comment down below i can't wait for all of you to take advantage of my course sale it's my birthday weekend anyone else born in may you guys comment down below where the gemini is at where my taurus is at i'm literally on the cusp of taurus gemini and i have personal personality traits of both so it's crazy but i intend you guys have an amazing friday saturday sunday amazing weekend amazing month until i see you next friday if you want more on parallel reality shifting check out my last friday's video but i hope this friday's video gets you hyped up gets you motivated if you did comment down below i love you guys i can't wait to hear your successes email me comment down below i will be sharing more and more successes they've been piling up and i have to make time to make them for you i love you have fun this weekend have fun this month no circumstance matters at all what you are worried about right now in a few days few weeks few months time you're going to be laughing at it and you're going to be living what you wanted to live so please don't worry i got you i love you i'll see you in the next video bye